inside uh, where everything used to be. <laughs> Tina Esquivel is taking us to her home where she's feeling a lot of things. What's uh, actually left. What hasn't been claimed uh, by fire is drenched or caked with ash or ruined by smoke. The fire started in the bedroom upstairs. The Esquivels are a family of 10. They have made this their home for 12 good years. I'm worried about my kids, my grandkids and my mom. Her mom, on oxygen and disabled, was in the home at the time of the fire. She was rescued by a neighbor, Matt Rising. This is the man that I owe my mom's life to. Matt, a complete stranger, a former Marine, sprung into action. I just pulled in, parked, and then uh, I was on 911, got the door, I heard voices. And at that point, I went in. Thanks to Matt, no one was hurt. Does this put a big damper on everything? Just days before Christmas, gifts under the tree for the grandkids are ruined. This family of 10 is now split up, staying with friends and other family. Strike the holidays just being together now. Because getting this home back together will take at least six months. Thankfully, they do have insurance. It is in these times, in these holidays, we are reminded of what is important, and especially who. I mean, just a neighbor. That's, that's all it is. It's unclear what started this fire. Tina says it's likely I electrical. I always fix everything, and this is one thing I don't know how to fix. But that is just one of many answers this single mom needs right now. In Nevada, I'm Joven Paniker. And if you want to help the Eskivals, uh, we have put a link with Joven's story on WFAA.com.